if you're here to look for a soft poly, this ain't it, Chief. I was very excited to try my first ever Technifiber tennis ring since Technifiber and I go way back to 2008 when I first discovered the brand as I started to play squash. Technifiber makes the iconic Carboflex line of rackets that Mohamed Al Sharbagi has used his entire career. And it also makes the instantly recognizable 305 squash string with its green color that has graced the rackets of many, many pros, including my favorite, Gregory Gaultier and Amar Shabana. I also played with the Carboflex uh, and 305 setup for many years, so needless to say, Technifiber is a brand that is very near and dear to me, and one that I wholeheartedly cheer on as it carves itself a more iconic niche in tennis. The first thing that struck me is that this is not a sharp string, and you can see that at the back of the package that shows a round string. While I like the free spin I can get sometimes with sharp strings. I also feel that sometimes the balls can get a bit flighty from those string beds. So I was happy to see this round shape and I expected a neutral launch angle that stayed true to your swing's intent. I also string my own brackets. So one benefit I have is that I tend to get a feel for the string even before I play with it. And this one definitely did not feel as stiff as my more recent tries, which are Tourbite or Restring Zero. So what I expected was a firm but comfortable response from the string, similar to my other favorite round polys, which are White Texas Pro Tour Blue and Selenko's Outlast. So how did these expectations play out on the court? Well, pretty accurately, but getting there was not straightforward. For one, I noticed a pretty significant breaking period where I must have hit like 400 balls in a row with my ball machine. Now, that's not a characteristic of soft polys, so, yeah, if you're here to look for a soft poly, this ain't it, Chief. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually a little offended that they put soft on the package here. I would 100% put this in the firm category. And right off the stringer, it plays really stiff. But once it breaks in, it kind of settles back down into that firm category. Okay, if you can get past this, how does the string play? Well, right off the stringer, it plays just all right, even a bit underwhelming. I struggle with this quite a bit because two traits came at me right away. One, that this is not a harsh string. All that really means is that the string does a good job of filtering out excessive vibrations and letting just enough through to give the string good feel. So this encouraged me to swing freely. And two, that the string really did not have much give or elasticity. It didn't pocket the ball very well. It just felt inelastic, but in all the wrong ways. So that discouraged me from swinging freely. So I just struggled to hit consistent balls, but I'm glad I stuck with it because by my second session, the string opened up and it was a whole different beast. The string bed really opens up. It loses that inelastic feel that I had at the very beginning and becomes quite responsive with good feel. The ball seems to pop off the string bed as if it gets this extra boost that you didn't expect. And it's a very nice sensation that makes the string feel more powerful than its firm nature would have you expect. The impressive thing is that this is not like a trampoline at all. It's very controlled. More than anything, it just feels like the ball dwells on your string bed quite a bit longer. I want to make a distinction between this sensation and ball pocketing. The ball pocketing is decent, but it's really this longer dwell time that contributes to this pop sensation. And that's what I really think makes the string soft, the longer dwell time. In reality, this is still a pretty firm poly that's geared towards advanced players. I think a lot of people are going to buy this expecting a truly soft response and they're going to be disappointed. The firm nature of this string gives really good control from all areas of the court. And it's one of those rare strings I've hit with that makes me feel that I can hit any shot from any position. It's a very smooth feeling string, which really just means that it strikes a nice balance between being crisp and being muted letting just enough vibrations through to let you know exactly how the string bed and the ball are interacting with each other. The analogy that kept coming to my mind is that of a bowl of cereal, where the cereal has been left in milk long enough to soak up just a little bit of milk, but still has that crunch that you associate with dry cereal. Take this with a grain of salt since I'm not uber sensitive to tension loss, but the tension maintenance felt great here. 
After the initial breaking period, I really did not notice the tension drop too much. And I confirmed this with my tension meter, which showed almost exactly the same tension I got at my second session. I've heard that Daniel Medvedev plays with the same racket for the entire match, and this excellent tension maintenance would definitely cater to him for sure. The only downside I see here is the spin potential. Now, I don't hit with a lot of spin, but even I notice the less than average spin performance. At the end of the day, I only play at the 3.5, 4.0 level, so realistically, I don't swing the racket fast enough to cause massive snapback. Would better players be able to do so? Likely, but you would have to ask them and watch more reviews online to see if they complained about the same thing. So what I'm trying to say is your experience may vary depending on your skill level. So yeah, Razorsoft is a not so soft string that plays pretty smoothly from all areas of the court and realistically is only geared towards advanced players. And if you're in that camp, you know who you are. Okay, thanks for indulging me. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, let's go.